Yes, hello. Um, yes, Anders Breivik has been declared sane in Norway. Um, I think it was the right decision. I think he is sane. He knew what he was doing when he killed those people. But um, one newspaper uh, reporter came out with a statement, wouldn't it have been a worse punishment for him if he had been declared insane? Well, yes, it was. It would have been, yes. If he had been declared insane, he would have been held in a in a, an asylum. Now, psychiatric nurses won't take any chances with their own safety. He'd probably be held in solitary confinement and he'd probably be injected with tranquilizers to keep him sedated and um, antipsychotics to keep him disabled in a straitjacket. As it is, in prison, he'll probably get the opportunity to um, work inside the prison and get extra cash for privileges. And um, he'll probably get, you know, to go into the hospital library and study for a degree if he wants. Where in psychiatric hospital, he would have just been deprived of all stimulation and just left to rot until he died. So, yes, it is a worse punishment, psychiatric hospital, than prison. But, you know, even so, you can't just declare somebody insane because psychiatric hospitals are worse punishment, can you? Anyway, yes. Um, yes, Prince Harry, I hate to mention him in the same video as someone like Anders Breivik, but it's today's but it's today today's in the news, you know, um yes, the Sun newspaper has published the pictures of Prince Harry. Now, although I am slightly interested in knowing what Prince Harry looks like naked, I am not buying a paper out of principle. Because, you know, what sort of story are they going to run with the pictures other than Whoopee ladies, here's Prince Harry naked. You know, I mean, what has he exactly has Prince Harry done wrong? You know, if he has a problem, Prince Harry, it's that he sees himself as a normal army lad and he keeps forgetting that he's third in line to the throne and that people have an interest in him. You know, it, he, he was just playing a game with some of his army friends, strip, strip pool, probably helping the girls would join in, but they didn't, they took pictures instead, you know. He's just a normal lad for his age, he's just too normal Prince Harry, isn't he, you know, he's just a normal lad getting up to normal army lad things, you know, like going in strip joint, you know, there was a story about him going in a strip joint a few years ago, you know, well he was just going in with his mates, because his mates were going in, in the army, you know. Just a normal lad doing what his mates are doing. Um, you know, he's third in line for the throne. I don't know what possibility there is that he will ever become king. But I think he'd make a good king, you know. He's the sort of king that walks with the people. Like Henry VIII. I know Henry VIII got up to quite a bit of mischief, chopping ladies' heads off. But, you know, maybe if Princess Harry does get to king to be king, he'll chop the heads off of those ladies who took photos of him naked and sold them to the press, mightn't he? Yes, I'm not buying a paper out of principle, much as I'm curious. You know, what store, all oh, right, somebody has managed to procure pictures of Princess Harry in the buff, but what sort of story goes with it? There is none, there's no story. Anyway, that's it. Thank you. Bye.